All right, a Fox News alert. You are looking at brand new video of police outside the Phoenix apartment. Yes, Phoenix apartment of one of the suspected gunmen from last night's shooting in Garland, Texas. The FBI now learning one of the suspects may have had ties to terror. Joining us now is New York Congressman Peter King. He's a member of the Homeland Security Committee. We thank you for joining us this morning. Thank First, you, Elizabeth. You know, so we want to ask you, obviously, everything that's been going on in Texas um, has us commending the officers there and the work that they did to prevent this from becoming a mass killing there. I want to turn now to what's been happening here in Queens. You've been along the bedside of NYPD officer that was brutally shot in the face here. He's just 25 years old. Uh, Brian Moore, what can you tell us about that today? You know, Brian Moore actually lives just five minutes from my house, five minutes from Brian's house. He's a uh, neighbor of ours. Uh, it's an absolute tragedy. Uh, right now, I would say it's a very, very serious situation. The best thing for everyone to do is just pray and to hope. This is uh, to see you the way he looks and to see what happened to him is absolutely catastrophic. And this is uh, right now he's he's clinging to life, but it's a very, very tough fight. Sure. But, Congressman, you know, there's been this anti-cop rhetoric out there. And you know, look at the two guys who were gunned down here in New York City a couple of months back. And it's, it's the same thing. So many people are saying, you know, the cops, they're just bad, bad, bad. Steve, this is absolutely disgraceful. First of all, if we're talking about the African-American community, no one has done more to save lives and put their own lives in the line than the uh, NYPD and police departments around the country. In New York alone, there are thousands and thousands of young African-Americans alive today because of the efforts of the NYPD and what uh, Brian Moore was doing the other night. This is what goes on all the time, 24-7. Cops putting their lives in the line, uh, uh, working uh, in plain clothes, trying to find... Uh, Men were wanted, finding sure. people acting suspiciously. And right. when he, what they did the other night, they went up to someone and he turned and he opened fire on them. And that's what cops go through every right. day. And I just wish the New York Times and Newsday and these other liberal rags would realize that and not put this all right. out of proportion. And Congressman, tell me what you found when you walked into that hospital yesterday. What was the scene like? Brian, it was like something out of a bad movie. Uh, you had police officers lined up and down the hallway. You saw his family, his mother, his father, his mm. cousins, many of whom were cops themselves, uh, just really uh, staring straight ahead. The sorrow, the grief was everywhere. And again, I just wish that some of the people who criticized the cops could spend one night in the shoes of these cops or spend even 30 seconds sitting in a room like that with a relative of theirs. And I would just say the next time a editorial writer or some of these commentators, the next time they're in trouble, instead of calling a cop, call Al Sharpton. See what happens then. That's these right. are the cops who do their job day in and day out. Sure. Well, Speaking of police officers, um, I'm sure you've been watching our lead story. Uh, last night in Texas, there was a free speech event. Uh, it was thrown by the American Freedom Defense Initiative, and they were having this uh, Draw Muhammad cartoon contest. Obviously, to many, they, they think that's very provocative. Nonetheless, it was a fr an expression of freedom of speech. Apparently, a couple of guys pulled up at the end of the event. Uh, they had uh, AK-47s. They shot one police officer. They returned fire. Both these guys are dead. It looks like uh, at least one of them has a tie to terror. What, taking a look at what we know right now, what are your thoughts? Uh, it appears that certainly this is a terrorist attack. And this is what a number of us have been warning about for the last several years. There are people living in our own country who are Islamists, who are willing to carry out terror attacks. And that's why it's so important that the police, the FBI, and all of our law enforcement agencies have constant surveillance, be monitoring for this type of thing. And when people like Hillary Clinton say that the police shouldn't have weapons of war, the fact is we are at war. We're at war with Islamist terrorism, and we have to have all the weapons and all the resources available. And thank God that 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 uh, officer last night was able to kill those two. But again, we shouldn't be surprised. This is going to uh, this is going to be what's going to happen more right. often than not. And we shouldn't even be having a debate about whether or not that uh, exhibition was provocative. Being an American means you can be provocative. This is the First Amendment. We can't sacrifice our Constitution to Islamists or politically correct commentators. It is wow. protected. And Peter King's considering a run for president, too. So he's trying. Uh, he's going to be talking like that in New Hampshire and Iowa. Uh, Congressman, always great to see you. Thanks so much. Brian, good, see you. good seeing you yesterday, Brian. Yes, it was great to see you. You were honored uh, by the yes. Suffolk County cops for all the great things you do for police. And, of Terrific. course, your dad was a police officer, too. Uh, thanks, Congressman. Thanks for your great work. Thank you, Brian.